Say, Fred, meet Mary Brown, new drill press operator. Mary, this is Fred Yates. Hello. How do you do? I've introduced Mary around, so get her started, will you? I've got to go check that new EO that's coming through. Fred will take care of you. Better remove that wristwatch, Mary. And Fred, you fix her up with one of those new safety caps. Okay. Well, let's get going. Well, there's your machine. It's all set up. Here's the material you work on. Now all you've got to do is put each tube in the jig with the threaded end at the open end of the jig, tighten up on your thumb screws, hold the jig solidly under the drill, put a little oil on the drill, and when you start drilling, ease up on the handle so the part won't climb the drill and bust it. Okay? Well, I guess I... Swell, go to it. I'll be back in a little while. Oh, and uh, by the way, read your safety book before you start to operate. I'm afraid there's a little more to it than just telling and showing. What kind of a drill press did you operate? Oh, I worked on one just like this. Good. Then you won't have a bit of trouble. What kind of material did you work on? Mostly flat stuff. Well, this job is a little different. It's a hollow tubing job. But it won't take you any time at all to get the hang of it. Now then, this is the part that you're going to be working on. It doesn't look very important, but it is an important part in an airplane. And your job is going to be to drill a hole right here through the collar so that it can be tapped later on for a set screw. This is the final assembly. And the part that you'll be working on goes right here. I see. And this is the hole I've got to drill? That's right. Now, if you'll just stand right here where you can see, I'll explain everything to you step by step as we go along. All set? All set. First, you fit the piece in the jig with the collar fitting snugly in the wider portion of the recess. Then you tighten the larger thumb screw so that the hole will be accurately located. Then tighten the smaller thumb screw so that the work will be securely held in the jig. Now, you already know how to start and stop the machine. You start it with the pedal at the right and stop it with the pedal at the left. Now, hold the jig firm so that the work won't move during the drilling operation. Take this brush, put a little oil on the drill. We use oil to keep the end of the drill from burning and to wash away the chips from the hole as the drill cuts through. Now, to drill the hole, you apply a steady pressure to the handle so that the drill cuts even. When you feel the drill cutting through, you ease up on the pressure so that the hole will be cleared out without the drill grabbing. Then remove the drill, take the part, and stack it in the tote box with the hole toward the front end. All right, now I'll drill another one. But this time, you tell me what to do and just how I'm to do it. All right. Well, first you put the tubing in the jig so that it fits in the recess. Now you tighten the large thumb screw. And now you tighten the smaller thumb screw. Now, place the jig firmly under the drill. Now you oil the end of the drill. Now you bring down the drill with a steady pressure on the handle. That's right. But this drilling operation is all in getting used to the feel. Here, put your hand over mine as I press down on the handle. Now it's just beginning to come through. Feel the difference in the pressure? And so you ease up on the pressure. That's right. 
Now you remove the drill, take the piece off of the jig, and place it in the tote box with a hole at the front end. That's very good, Ellen. All right, if you will just change places with me, we'll have you drill one. Okay. But before each move, I want you to tell me just what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Okay. First, I put the tubing in the jig so it fits firmly in the recess. Then I tighten up on the large thumb screw. And on the smaller one. Now I put the jig under the drill and hold the work firmly. I oil the end of the drill and bring down the drill with a steady pressure on the handle. That's right. This time I'll steady your hand while you're getting the feel of the drill. Now the drill just out and becomes through. I ease up, remove the drill, and take the pot out of the jig. And stack the pot in the tote box with a hole at the front end. You've got the pattern of the job all right, and you know how to apply it. But just to make doubly sure, suppose you run through it once more, and this time, give me the reasons why. All right. First, I put the tubing in the jig so it will fit firmly in the recess. Next, I tighten the large thumb screw, and also the smaller one. Now, I put the jig under the drill, and hold the work firmly. Yes, why? So the work won't move during the drilling operation. Now, I oil the drill so as to keep the end of the drill from burning. And there's another reason. Oh, and uh, so as to wash away the chips from the hole as the drill comes through. And now, I put the part in the coat box just like this. Yeah, but why, Ellen? Why? So it'll be all ready for the next guy. <laughs>